Hello everybody, this is Adam from Wheel Guns for Wheel Men, and today we're here with an important milestone. 2,000 rounds through this Gerson Regard. And the reason why 2,000 rounds is important is because I have never put 2,000 rounds through a full-size pistol before. Compact pistols, yes. 22 rifles, yes. But never through a competition-style gun. Now, this has been through eight USPSA, USPSA matches, as well as a lot of training exercises to prepare for those matches and just get familiar with it. I've also dry fired this a ton while watching movies and stuff using the snap caps. Valuable tool, also helped to break in the trigger. This is a, you know, Turkish knockoff of a Beretta 92 series gun. It's unloaded. Um, this is decocker only, so you work the safety lever, but it doesn't actually work as a safety, it's just a decocker. And then um, the other thing that makes this cool is I added these grips to it, and they really uh, improved um, well, my grip on the gun. <laughs> I, I like them more. I also think that uh, they're a little bit aesthetically more pleasing than uh, the ones that came on it. Now, the pros are that it's, well, when I got it, at least it was $450, which is super cheap. Uh, the trigger out of the box was just shy of 10 pounds, double action, <clears throat> which is really good for a Turkish clone. Single action trigger pulls, closer to about five pounds, but I, through all the dry firing and the 2,000 actual rounds through it, have worked the trigger in to the point where it's lighter. I have not re-measured it with the uh, trigger weight gauge that I used originally, but uh, I can just tell you that it is noticeably lighter now that it's broken in. Uh, things I noticed over the 2,000 rounds. One, the uh, mag release, both this side and this side are they're relatively sharp the edges are and so after a lot of sustained fire it starts to give you like little calluses um these levers are also you know a little sharp not sure if that's actually the same on the standard m9 because i've never actually owned a standard m9 i have nicer versions of the brand 92 but never the standard one but you know it is a little, a little rough however the finish has you know held up well which is nice uh, if you don't know, there are two differences between the Gerson Regard, at least that I could find, um, between the Gerson Regard and the actual Bread 92G. One is the positioning of the uh, grip screw holes and bushings. Uh, they're just slightly off, like a Breda would be like here, so this one's here. And so in order to make these grip panels work, because they're for a 92 series gun, you had to have to kind of drill a little bit or file down or however you want to do it. I just use a drill because it's faster. It took off about a quarter of the threads at the bottom here and then screws held up for about a thousand rounds now so I think it's fine. And the other thing is uh, the locking block that sits in the barrel um, at the bottom of the barrel. That is different. It's just the contours are different. If you look at the two you can tell they are different. So I'm not sure about compatibility of barrels. Um, I think the slide's the same, but, um, and the barrels might work on a, you know, 92 frame, but I'm not certain. Uh, on the other hand, I think a 92 slide and barrel should fit on this frame just fine, if I'm not mistaken. Now, for the thing that most people probably care about most is, after 2,000 rounds, is it reliable? And, it uh, depends on how you gauge reliability. I would say it's reliable enough for me and my purposes. Um, <clears throat> I've had four malfunctions over the course of the 2,000 rounds. That's one every 500 rounds, and it's always the same malfunction. It's always induced by the same environment uh, and circumstances. That would be um, wind, at normally the last or second to last stage of a six-stage USPSA match. Uh, I limp wrist it, and the gun's gotten dirty, and there's a stovepipe. 
That's the only malfunction I've had. The same malfunction, same scenario, same circumstances. Always after 100 rounds at least. Uh, in the same day, it's still pipes. And it's normally me limp wristing it with a one-handed shot or I'm just, you know, I got a bad grip on the draw. So I'm not going to hold that too much against the firearm. Um, if you're going to use this because you're getting into USPSA shooting or just wanting to get into the 92 platform for cheap, don't want to spend Beretta money, but have a gun that's basically a Beretta, it's a good, it's a good deal. Uh, I like it a lot. Shoot straight. Trigger's pretty decent out of the box. It's actually, I guess, like I said, it's actually probably a little bit better than a standard M9 out of the box. Beretta doesn't actually have a great track re record with uh, factory triggers. Um, if you buy a nice higher end Beretta, like the 92X, it's pretty good. It's better than the older 92s. Um, and then the 92 Performance uh, ones. Then you get pretty decent triggers. But really, um, this is quite nice, especially for the price. I think they're a little bit more nowadays than when I bought this, you know, two and a half years ago. Maybe three years ago now. Can't quite remember. But uh, big fan. Give it, you know, four and a half stars. I uh, have had a little bit of issues also with the uh, mag release kind of sticking. Um, but can't really necessarily blame the gun for that because the magazines I'm using are Beretta mags. And technically, uh, you know, it's a Gerson regard and I only have the one mag that it came with. Or Yeah, it actually only came with one mag. So that's all I have for it. So I never used that. So it could be that these aftermarket Beretta 92 mags just aren't quite compatible but I'm not going to count off for that. So four and a half out of five stars after 2,000 rounds. I'll probably do a 5,000 round update because I plan on continuing to use this for production division. Anyways, please like and subscribe. Leave comments, questions, and I'll get back to you.